wonderful video and in this video i want to show you really on how i was be able to fabricate my ultra light helicopter blade i use a kind of a 0.5 mm thick uh, metal sheet and um it was awesome and everything here is about uh, two meters long and use a uh, kind of a three three by one inch uh, a two by one inch uh, square pipe and this is the square pipe here and um it was amazing you know um i want to show you this video on based on how i do it and this is just the first stage of constructing this helicopter blade subsequently I'll, i'm gonna upload another video on the complete uh completely done helicopter plates and i know you like it this is how it looks like and you can see i revit them all together but after revving uh, everything there's a lot of there are, there are other things that i need to do but so far so good this is uh, the helicopter ultra light helicopter blade just have two blades and uh, this is how i start everything this here we enter um it's going to be connected to the blade arms of the helicopter my name is joseph benson I'm from Nigeria it means your host and this video is to educate you and give you a clue on how an helicopter ultra light blade will look like thank you for watching and see you another video hello and welcome to another uh, new edition of our uh, ultra light helicopter rotor blade construction and this is what I did so far and um, in this video I'm I'll try to show you exactly how I add more strength uh, close to the kind of a uh, roto um, helicopter roto end which is uh, which is a roto blade uh, uh, connect connection to the to the blade arms and um, this is particular area will be connected to the blade arm and um, in order to add more strength to it to exactly particular places so from like here to here about 30 centimeters or so I added a kind of one and a half inch flat bar measure 2.7 something like this the thickness is 2.7 mm thick and um, that is exactly what I'm trying to show. I use a digital vernier caliper to measure to take my measurement, and that's how it is. So this is exactly what I did. I added strength to it here and um, below. Sorry for the poor video. And under we have one here and one under, particularly to add more strength to the to the connection area. And um, we're gonna drill here, like the way I just marked this one. I just give it about uh, three mm drill. So we're gonna uh, drill it up to 12 mm so that we can uh, insert some knots there and everything will be fine perfectly so this is exactly how it works and um the complete blade is about two meters two meters long and um you can see this is the blade tips uh we we did a kind of nice work and you can see the air fold the air fold is wow so perfect and um it's unique so i just want to do this video to keep you guys posted on how i did mine and uh, look at look at it here don't forget kind of everything and um uh the kind of uh skeleton i use inside there is about uh two inch by one inch 1.5 or let's say 1.2 mm thick uh kind of a square pipe so that is the skeleton and everything is perfect just the way you're looking at it right now so um i did a kind of nice everything i use 0.5 mm sheet to do the covering and everything was perfect and this is exactly the, the point where i'm trying to make this video to make you guys understand exactly how it looks like and what to do next and this is exactly what i did and everything was perfect if you look at the first video i did um you will notice a kind of a uh, this uh tip here uh it was it was open before and you see the others other uh skeleton here exit here and we we cut it off and you know insert this cap to weld the cap uh, some people the cap and you know grind the cap some paper and you know it's ready for a kind of final finishing touch where we're gonna put some kind of body fillings do it uh, do some papering and you know we spray it and give it all the nice paint we are uh, to give it to it so this is how it looks like and um uh, that is this that that that, that is it uh, remember don't forget to, to revit it uh this is this all those are everything um very nice everything uh from the top layer all through and um sorry for for poor video performance and also here from uh, from the top from the from the under that is the base down also so and this uh this cover here i did a kind of kind of uh riveting also and uh all true and this too all true nice riveting 
and the kind of uh, covering here. We use 1.5 mm checker plate to get a very nice covering here. Um, believe me, by the time we are done with the final touch, kind of body feeling and what what of you, you come here and see it's nicely done. So this is how it looks like, um, two meters long, um, from this and particularly uh, to the to the to the blade tip. Everything is around uh, two meters. It's two meters precisely. Then uh, from here to here is 30 centimeter. Thank you for really watching this video. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I remain your host Joseph Benson from Nigeria, and um, please like this video, subscribe, and thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.